Well, what's happening, everybody? It's Darren Glenn Cook from Cook's Catapults and Miscellaneous Debris. Stick around. Let's talk about these awesome things, bush axes. Some people call them brush hooks. Some people call them big blades on a stick. Stick around or don't. Go get some water. Go get some sweet tea. Listen to that wind. It's fall here in Georgia. Anyway, bush axe to the face. Well, hello there. You caught me working. Big surprise, right? <laughs> All right, so growing up as a kid, my uh, stepdad, uh, land surveyor, he still is. But uh, as soon as you got tall enough to wield a tool like this, the bush axe, you had one in your hands from then on out. So this is a tool that I have always loved since I was a kid. Um, this style, we're going to call a bush axe, the way it's mounted like this, and you sharpen it all the way around. This side, you cut down some heavier stuff. This side, you catch some tall branches or you know, vines. Um, I really like this size versus this one. See how big that is? <laughs> Imagine carrying this in the woods all day long for eight to 10 hours, which I love, but this size was way better. And later on in life, I realized some people were calling these brush hooks. I'm like, I, I just grew up with them being called bush axes. I don't know. And then, so one of my dad's friends, I think this belonged to his grandfather. This is what people or I would consider it to be a brush hook. It's sharp here. This is it's pretty thick. <laughs> These things like some freaking Viking weapons or something. Anyway, this is a shorter handle, um, and it's heavy. I guess if I was going to just use it in the yard, it would be fine, but I really like that side hang on those. But then later, I found this one. <laughs> Now this one was sharpened on the back and the front, kind of like a what I call a standard bush axe. This thing definitely looks <laughs> some kind of evilness. I don't know. But anyway, um, when I was working with my dad, we'd get out onto the job site and would everybody pull their bush axe out, sat like this on the tailgate, got him a good nice file, and we would just clean up the edges a little bit. Because I guarantee you, if you have a dull bush axe cutting stuff all day long, you're not going to have a good day. So it doesn't hurt to do this, but <laughs> you can easily slip and uh, cut yourself. Still got a scar right there. But something about getting out in the morning, man, sitting and sharpening your tool that you're going to use all day. And these things are amazing. This is a great woods tool, and I don't really see a lot of people using them much anymore. But anyway, we're going to get a good edge on this one and put this bad boy to work. Anyway, stick around. Let's chop some stuff down, shall we? Yes, we shall. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Just wanted to show you this in action, even though I was just cutting down small stuff I needed to cut down anyway. But I have cut down some huge trees, man. They were like big, bigger than like that. Believe it or not, they're staring in any kind of bad direction. Anyway, if you've never had a bush axe, go out and get you one. Learn how to use it. You can start fires with your barrel rod right there. I'm telling you, it's so versatile. It's like many things besides being a 
little shacks. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Y'all have a great day. And uh, get outside, shoot your slingshot. I didn't shoot this as a slingshot. I'm slipping. I'm slipping. Anyway, later, taters.